whenever I think about a BMO business line of credit, I always think about speed. I always think about transparency. I always think about what I call operational effectiveness. In other words, BMO is trying to make things a lot easier for you if you're a small business owner. It doesn't matter whether you are a startup or you are an existing small business owner, BMO will work with you. And one thing I've realized over the years, and, and my team, and we have actually been uh, researching this for a while, is that if you are if you want to go with the BMO business line of credit, you, you really need to get organized. So planning is quite essential. OK, so you got to ask yourself a few a few things. I want you to write those questions down now because this is what I did. And, and I got the I got the, the business line of credit that I wanted. BMO is not complicated. Just be methodical, be, be thorough and they'll take care of you. So first, you got to ask yourself, can you pay your next tax installment without late penalties? In other words, or would you be in good terms with the IRS? Can you pay your employees in time on time? Can you keep your business open and operational while waiting for receivables? In other words, you know, are you managing your Delta, your APAR Delta, your accounts payable versus account receivable de Delta? Do you use your personal or business credit cards to finance your business? Do you can you purchase supplies and raw materials to keep production going? So what BMO is trying to really prove here is that BMO is trying to make sure that on the liquidity aspect of things, you are good to go. Because see, the thing is, BMO is willing to give you a, a line of credit, business line of credit, but uh, the institution wants to make sure you're not desperate. I mean, all banks are like that, but BMO is really conservative. Like, like BMO, they cover their asses like crazy. In any business credit transactions, they always cover their asses, okay? And so, well, the thing is that if you want to actually uh, apply with for a BMO line of credit, just make sure that you have, uh, there are no monthly or annual re review uh, review fees. You have no application fees. You have a competitive rates. You have flexible repayment options. So th this is really, really good. And this is this is, this really what... Uh, what well, was that throw me into this uh, business line of credit in the first place? Because I needed to have a business line of credit and I wanted to have it from a regional, a regional bank. I did not want to have a business line of credit from Citi, Wells Fargo, or Chase or Bank of America because those big, those big national banks, sometimes they are complicated. They play games with you. They actually lengthen the application process. And in the end, they deny your ass anyway. So you waste your time, double time, right? You, you waste your time doing doing uh, doing this uh, application and then you waste time that you would have invested you could have invested into something else so i was like from the get-go i wanted to get a business not a credit from a u.s bank or 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 a, or a lousy fifth third or a pnc or some of those td like td ameritrade uh, not ameritrade td bank so those regional players and the thing is that if you like if you want to get a bmo business not a credit Make sure that you actually seize the, uh, the 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 promotional offers that sometimes BMO has, and uh, this is this is what I did when I when I applied. BMO was running at that time a promo whereby you get one hundred fifty thousand one hundred fifty dollars when you apply for a BMO business line of credit. So BMO is just trying to have like uh, new customers, right? So you you become a customer, you are able to uh, actually uh, get the business line of credit, and you actually receive uh, actually a one hundred fifty dollars. What they will do is that you actually now they're not going to give you the the fee. So it's basically the annual fee that comes with the BMO uh, business line of credit. So the first year they waive the fee. So yeah, you know, I, I know, I know, I know. You probably thought that you, you were getting the cash. No, 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 no. I mean, you know how banks are, right? When it comes to uh, getting the, the money. So basically you are getting the cash in the form of savings. So you can actually use, what, what I love about a BMO business line of credit is that it's very fast to get. It's very flexible in how you can use it. You can use it, for example, to cover expenses operational expenses you can purchase inventory you can invest in equipment you can expand in into new markets you can actually uh, even uh, find ways to actually hire more staff that's totally possible so that level of uh, flexibility i love it a lot and uh, that's why i wanted to get a bit a bit more business, business line of credit this time and one thing i did was you know to kind of so i sat down i was just thinking how do i qualify for a bmo business line of credit how do i get a bmo business line of credit how do i improve my chances for immediate qualification when it comes to the BMO business line of credit. I, I was really interested in, in immediate qualification because I did I did not want to waste time on a lot of things. And uh, the thing is that you can actually, um, so the cool thing is if you if you qualify for a BMO business line of credit, you can also uh, parlay that successful application into obtaining a BMO Harris business platinum rewards MasterCard. And I actually, that's what I did. What, what you want to do is you want, you want to apply right, right after approval of the line of credit. Don't wait. Because if you if you do it if you do it immediately you're not going to have uh, twice 
the hard pull. You only you are only going to have a hard pull once. So BMO will actually use the the, the the info to actually qualify you also for the BMO Harris Business Platinum Rewards Mastercard. It's a, it's a fantastic card whereby you enjoy no annual fee, no intro APR, of course. But um, you have an APR that's kind of decent. You have a uh, fifteen to twenty four percent. So this is really good. You can you you are really you can you will really love love this card. The thing here is that I was just kind of thinking if I wanted to apply for a BMO Business Line of Credit, I, I wanted to know like the uh the easiest way for me to do it and the thing that i the, the thing that I, I found is that bmo actually has a, a possibility like bmo offers a possibility for online application so you can apply for for the business line of credit online if you wanted to you can apply at a branch now the thing is that bmo is actually headquartered in, uh, in in chicago so if you are if you are in illinois maybe you would love to actually drive to the nearest i mean they have branches all over the place though but again the fact remains that for all intents and purposes bmo actually is uh a geo restricted bank anyway but if you happen to be in the if you happen to be in the geography that it covers you are good to go okay you you will love it and so when, when, I, when we talk about the bmo business line of credit i actually was thinking that hey listen you can actually go with uh, the traditional business line of credit or you can find out uh, like some kind of combo whereby you apply for, for like let's say if you want to if you wanted to have a one hundred thousand dollars instead of applying for the one one with the one hundred thousand dollars as a single like, like a like a single business line of credit you can have a combo you can have a combo of business line of credit you can have an, an sba loan you can have a conventional loan so basically in the end if you want to have 100k you could probably have 30k here 30k there and 40k so in the end that will add up to uh 200k but the thing is you want to first the, first, the very first thing you want to do here is that you want to assess your business needs. You want to evaluate your business needs. Okay, so that's what I did. I sat down and I wrote I wrote exactly what what I needed because my business currently has, has a problem where we're not having a we're not generating enough revenue, and so in some in some cases the like we see the opportunities in the market in the in the, in, the, in our sector. We knew that we could actually do more if we just had money, and so we had two problems. We had a double problems. We, the first problem was. We were generating generating less revenue. In addition to that, some of our, our customers were playing games, so we actually extended net 30, net 45, and net 60 terms to them, and they were actually like dragging their feet to actually pay us. So we had we had to reconcile that gap. We had to reconcile that chasm, that liquidity chasm, the cash flow like cash flow wasn't coming in at the right time. That's why I wanted to apply for this BMO business line of credit. And the thing is that so you had to evaluate your needs. That's, that's the first thing you have to do. You have to evaluate your needs. So the second thing that you had to do and then that I did is that you had to evaluate the types of business lines of credit that you want from BMO. Obviously, yes, you want to have a BMO business line of credit. But my, my question to you is, which type do you need? Do you want something unsecured? Do you want something secured? And what is the, the repayment window you are interested in? Because the thing is that the repayment window will play an important role on your business's uh, liquidity patterns, right? So if you go for five years versus you go for three years or you go for one year, you will have a different set of uh, liquidity patterns on your on your financials. What I'm trying to say here is that, you know, I, and I knew this going to the whole application process. I knew that, hey, listen, if I have uh, three years, my uh, st my statement of financial, my statement of cash flows will show a different picture than if I had uh, a five year repayment, repayment window. Now, anyway. In all circumstances, they will want to review your, your line of credit every single year. Sometimes they review this like every three every three months or six months. I mean, I had a friend. I had a friend who uh, who who actually had a, a cosmetics company in Chicago, and uh, he was telling me that he basically he had a business line of credit through BMO, and they were reviewing his business line of credit every single month just to make sure that they, they had, like there were, there were no problem. And that was because his uh, cash inflows and cash outflows were really random. It was very sporadic, so BMO couldn't, BMO could not really uh, have a clear picture of his company's uh, financials. So because of that, because of BMO, like okay, you know, we have a, an uncertain element here. We need to find a way to actually tame, quote unquote, tame that element. And and that's the that was the exact words that the BMO uh, rep, the business rep, used. We need to tame this revenue uh, changes. So it, the thing is, you know, whether you want to go with a secured line of credit or unsecured line of credit, you have to really. Pay attention to the, the 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 patterns and the frequency of your cash inflows versus cash outflows. Okay, now if you need a small burst of capital, 
you will go, you will want to go for a loan instead. Because see, when we talk about a business not a credit through BMO or another lender for that matter, just make sure that you are getting something that you might use sporadically. Like you, like you don't have a you don't need the cash right now, but you know you will need it at some point. I mean, if you're running a business. If you're running a business, you know that you you probably need a business. That you probably need extra capital anyway. At some point, I don't care how how revenue, how much revenue you generate, you you can always do more with more cash. So the first thing you want to do here, you want to evaluate your business needs, right? That this will help you see, okay, okay, what is my uh, what is my relationship with with uh, with people, and so what am, what is my uh, like what 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 is the result of my assessment? Is my business doing okay in the geography that I want to cover? Because BMO is interested in a geography, in a certain geography, in, a, in other words, in a number of states. So BMO it wants to make sure that you are actually uh, developing your economic activity in the geography that a bank covers, because the bank has to respond to uh, regulators too. So they want they don't want you to they, they want they don't want to finance uh, activities uh, in a state that they don't cover. Okay, so the first thing you want, you, you want to do, and the second thing you want to evaluate the types of business lines of credit that, that BMO has. And the third thing you want to do is you want to re review your eligibility requirements. So when we talk about reviewing eligibility requirements, we actually have a, one thing I've seen, and this is what I was real. I was like, okay. And I remember very, very well, like last year I was in, I was in Tallahassee, Florida, when I started doing research about the BMO business line of credit. I realized that they, BMO is not that complicated when it comes to eligibility requirements. Like they talk about revenue, like business revenue. You want to have at least one hundred thousand dollars, length of time in business six to nine months, bank statements or other financial documents. I'm speaking about your balance sheets, your income statements, your uh, cash flow statements, your uh, your owner's equity statements. BMO wants to have the size. Want to know? Uh, they want to have a clear idea about the size and location of uh, your business. So this is kind of interesting. Now. I was kind of curious. I'm like, why do they need to have the size and location of my business? Is is the is the revenue not a lot? Not a lot. But then that was when uh, BMO, like rap, told me they need this for an SBA loan because the government has a precise criteria in place to have the the location, the geolocation of the loans that go through the SBA program. And uh, so BMO wants to know um, more about the type of business, and how it, it operates. And also want to have uh, some kind of info about collateral options. So I knew right, right off the bat that all the conditions, I really, uh, I was okay. Because, um, you know, my FICO score was high, was high. Like the minimum at BMO goes from 640 all the way to 650. Sometimes they'll, they'll approve you if you have the right relationship longer with them for like uh, like for 10 years, for instance, they can go all the way to 600. But, but right now it's like 630, 640 to 750, something like that. And the next thing you want to do here is if you want to get approved for a BMO business line of credit, at least that's what I learned in the last few a few weeks. And like I'm, I'm actually sharing with you the latest and freshest hacks that really get you a, a BMO business line of credit real fast. Like we're not talking about you spending time and wasting your time in uh, like over several weeks trying, just trying to get like a, a BMO business, business business line of credit. I've been there, done that. Sometimes it's it can be really frustrating. Like you spend so much so much time. Uh, trying to find uh, your your paperwork and everything, and in the end, they deny your ass. And, you know, imagine the double the double frustration. So I wanted, I was like, no, I ain't I ain't doing it this time. And so you need to actually collect a, uh, uh, I would say, a series of business documents that will really uh, help you out. So you got to have you have you have to uh, complete a business line of credit application checklist. So BMO actually has it on its website. It's very clear. That's what I was telling you, that BMO is really good when it comes to transparency. Like BMO gives you all the info that you need. And, but the thing is, do not take it for granted though. If you don't understand anything, you can contact the BMO and they'll be, they have a friendly customer service, like a, they have friendly customer service reps who will actually talk to you. They will have a conversation with you. Most of their reps are US based. So you have no, no sort of crazy conversation with somebody who's uh, in a different time zone or like very far away from you they can understand your problems they can solve it so you want to have a completed application so you download this business line of credit application uh, from uh, bmo's website you download it you fake you actually fill it out it's very it's very straightforward nothing complicated here you got to have your articles of incorporation or articles of organization so if you're an llc for instance you got to have your articles of organization if you're a c corporation or s corporation for that matter you are you have to attach your articles of incorporation and uh, so you might have to have a 
depending on the uh, the transaction, you might have to attach collateral information. You, you want to have your business plan for SBA loans. You, know, you want to have two or more years of financial projections for SBA loans. You want to have your business tax return. So your 1065 or 1120 or 1120 C, uh, 1120 just 1120 and you uh, and then you gotta have make sure that you have all the ancillary schedules k1 that are attached to the uh, the primary tax return prim primary business tax return and you also, also want to have you want to attach your personal tax return so here we're we speaking about you attaching your 1040 as as, as long along with uh, all the schedule c schedule d schedule e schedule f and what have you so you got to have all that you might have other documents as needed bimo will let you know i mean bimo is really granular they're very detailed they'll let you know whether what you showed them is uh, okay or not and uh, what i did was when it comes to when it came time to uh, the application I actually, I, I was kind of scared, you know, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I've done this. I've been this. I've been through this many, many, many times, but for some reason I was kind of like, okay, is everything okay? Like I had all the, I had, I had all the documents, right? But what I did was to actually, uh, to sort of uh, squash that frust that anxiety, I said to myself, I'm going to contact a branch, a branch manager or, so what I did was, you know, you would not believe it. I had to drive. I mean, the good thing is I was actually, um, uh, in town for some kind of business meetings so i went to the branch and i sat down and i had you know an extra layer of conversation because i did not want to just uh, apply online or apply at a branch through snail mail or just go to the branch or through via via like via email you, you have a lot of possibilities once you have a, a bimo business line of credit you can apply through your dashboard so once you log into your bimo uh, account you have a lot of uh, a lot of capabilities, a lot of modules that allow you from your dashboard to apply for a business line of credit. And for some reason, I was like, you know what? I, I was like, okay, am I having am I ha am I having cold feet? You know, why am I scared? You know, for some reason, because I mean, I wasn't scared like scared scared, but I was scared that you know, what if if I got a, this, if I got declined one more time, that's really bad. So I went to a branch, and I and I had a conversation with uh, with the branch manager or a deputy manager. I, I can't really recall. But uh, he told me everything that I needed to know. And he said, listen, it's just better to uh, apply with us. So I, I was, the good thing is I had the, uh, the application package with me, right? I had everything. I had my ID. I had my, uh, my financials, my financial document, my company's financial documents. I had my business plan. Oh, I had everything. I mean, you know, I had every, I went to, uh, I went to, um, I can't recall. I think I went to a Staples the night before I went to Staples and I actually printed everything. They actually did a, a nice, you know, they, a nice binder. They had a very nice logo with my, with my logo. They, they did everything so superbly. I was like really happy. I even tipped, I tipped the, 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 the Staples, uh, employee. Cause I was, I was really happy. So everything was kind of cool. So I applied at a branch, long story short, I applied at a BMO branch. I applied for a business line of credit and thank God I was approved. Not a problem at all. But yeah, you know, I, I just hope that, uh, this story was will actually inspire you to also follow in the same footsteps that I that I actually uh, you know that actually uh, I would say blazed for you. So for you to actually be approved for your BMO business line of credit. Hopefully, if you do things methodically, if you plan things in advance before you actually uh, you actually embarked on this BMO business line of credit, you will be really happy that you did because uh, things will will be a lot easier for you.